Recently, I was in the Netherlands, and for every time you get a cup of coffee, they also throw in a small packet of honey to go alongside it. Not only that, sometimes they even throw in a small little dessert. Oh, just like the stroop waffle. But before everybody was eating their stroop waffle, they were just leaving it on top of their coffee or hot drink, so the waffle itself can have an ooey and creamy center, like this. Shit! The issue with this is that all the locals knew exactly how long to leave a stroop waffle on top of their hot drink. But I just got to the Netherlands, so I don't know how long we're supposed to leave this on for. Is it 10 seconds? Is it 2 minutes? Do you just leave it on for an hour? How am I supposed to know without trial and error? I don't want to look like a tourist, even though I kind of do with my little bum bag. Like, you, yeah, you a tourist? But why would anyone care? It's a problem that affects 0.22% of the global population. It's not even that, it's just the tourists that visit the Netherlands that find this an issue. So I created an over-engineered solution to fix this problem. How to make a stoop waffle warming detection system? Is that, is that literally what I'm making? This solution through data gathering and programming will work out how long you should leave your stroop waffle on top of your coffee for. Looking through my little code box, I did find an ESP32 board, which is actually cheaper, faster, and actually has Wi-Fi, unlike an Arduino Uno board. But sadly, this needs soldering, which I don't have, so I'm gonna have to go and buy an Arduino Uno instead. Thankfully, I have Amazon Prime, so I bought an Arduino Uno or this fake clone for 13 quid, which is mad because these are normally going for like a fiver. Stupid Jeff Bezos. I can't believe I'm giving this guy money, man, honestly. This is our little fake Arduino board and also our little USB-B that we'll be using alongside it. Now that the microcontroller is set up, I'll be running some code to detect the movement of the steam and the stroop waffle over time. At the same time, a DHT11 sensor will be recording the temperature changes. Through, let's just say, some test tasting, don't worry, it's a bloody tough job, I'll be finding the perfect balance of temperature and how much the stroop waffle bends. This will help you determine the ideal heating time for you based on the preferences of an idiot. You might be wondering how I'm going to detect movement of a fucking biscuit while well, I'll be using the webcam of my MacBook Pro to do so. So the first step is actually launching some uh, Python code here. As you can see, we've got a grayscale uh, application on it and a Gaussian blur. Now what the Gaussian blur does is if there's any movement, you can see it'll be colored in white. And if I start moving, it goes to black. So all that will be recorded and be sent straight to this Arduino, which will be outputting the information. It would be nice if the device itself could notify me when the waffle is ready. Originally, I thought about just sending a message back to the laptop and it can go through this old school Samsung folder phone. But then I thought, I've got a bunch of different little sensors. So I've got this passive and active buzzer. Firstly, we have an active buzzer. This buzzer is more of an on off switch. Think like an old school Nokia phone. Uh, it, it, why is it just going off consistently? But one of these passive buzzers, this passive buzzer lets you have different kind of notes, which allows you to play more songs and quirky bits. I took a mini file of the happy birthday tune, inputted it in, and now we've got this. This is, this is meant to be happy birthday. <laughs> So we've got this, but I might try and change it to a better song because this is this is a bit gr grim and okay, it's getting really annoying after a while as well. Okay, now it should play Megalovania. Huh? I've made note changes slightly more apparent and slowed it down, so hopefully we get the Tetris sound now. See, there we go. It's okay. It's like eight out of ten almost there, but just just trust me. I, I tried to uh, trying to get this to work, and this has got nothing to do with the bloody stoop waffle now. Stop for one second. So we're here now on the testing ground. We have the Arduino device with all the sensors attached. We have the Python code running with the motion detection system also in place, and they have a boiling cup of hot water. So I'm gonna have to be pretty careful. With the initial tests, we're gonna be using this coaster as my pretend stoop waffle. Sadly, I can't eat this because made out of wood so I'm gonna plop this on here I'm gonna move this down over here and we've got the temperature center which has this reading right here we're looking at the rate of change which is more important than anything else at the moment because for some reason this temperature center is reading that the current temperature is 348 degrees which I would be boiling or at least on fire so yeah I, that's not the right reading so I did some additional tests with other liquids as well which basically meant I just stood by the kettle for an hour. Over time the waffle was getting gooier with the exterior starting to heat up similar to a freshly cooked one which cost around the same price as this entire stack. Wow look how much food you can get. However this does have diminishing returns. When I tested this it did have a cut off when it was too floppy and barely edible from it just sloshing around. Eventually I knew the exact feel that linked between a 10 out of 10 waffle so I just started bending it like a weirdo. Even though eating that many fruit waffles sounds nice in practice, having your dinner be six tea cake desserts isn't great. Or is it?
No, no, it's not. I felt really weird afterwards. After inputting all the values into Excel, I realized that I could have just written a piece of code to automatically save all these values. Fuck! 30 minutes of data entry later, we had all the test results. Now all we need to use is a linear regression model, a formula that associates the cooking time with the doneness is that word? of the waffle. The model would then create a line of best fit. According to the model, the time at which the waffle reaches a 10 out of 10 of doneness is approximately 99 seconds, or 1.65 minutes. Disclaimer though, the time range can depend on the beverage of choice as well. For example, I prepare a hot Americano, which is naturally hotter since that's just coffee and boiling water, compared to a hot chocolate, which has milk in it. In case if your drink has milk in it, I suggest probably adding around 20 seconds. And if you've got foam in it, well, you're fucked because I didn't test that out. So just add like another minute, I don't know. Now we have the best time for the waffles. All I have to do now is just apply this in an actual real world setting. So you can see me be awkward in public now. Great. I'm outdoors. Coffee's a little bit too big, so I'm going to improvise and use the lid as a barrier between the two. I've set up the webcam here, put the temperature sensor, which will be going on top of there if you can balance that all we have to do is just plug this in and then the whole system's going and now all i'm gonna do just read my book until that's done the linear regression model will just work out based off the temperature change and movement how long you should leave the waffle on for oh whoops that is that is that's fucking loud <laughs> okay i guess I guess the waffle is ready to to eat so So that's the kind of consistency you want. A little bit of bite, but also soft on the inside. And my coffee is ready, which is good. See, now it's triggered. Now I don't even have to worry about if the street bubble is going to bend. It's got the right amount of consistency, the right amount of goo. I can read the book while I'm doing it. It's perfect. It's great. It's still seeing movement detected. The bloody waffle's gone. Let's see. Um, I think it's detecting people moving around me, I think, I'll be honest. And it's actually really easy to pack it up. All you need to do is disable the Arduino from the USB hub so it can work on the MacBook Pro. Pack up the Arduinos with all the sensors carefully, pack the USB hub, and then the laptop itself. Great, and it's raining. This thing's not waterproof, so we're going to have to go inside for our next coffee test. Currently, I'm testing out the movement detection system. Now, I am in a cafe, but this one is a little bit less busy than the original one. You can see it's just it's just me behind me, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, it's just not that much movement. It's just me, and I can just put the latte in front of it here. <laughs> I guess I was not a big fan of that joke. <laughs> and it's super practical. It only takes a couple seconds to set up. <laughs> Which I mean it takes about two minutes. Sure. These ones are to go because the cups are slightly smaller. So you can fit the shoe bottles properly onto the top. So we've got a latte. This has got a milky consistency. So the temperature is going to be a little bit different. But luckily from the linear regression model that I created, we've accounted for this because I've made teas, I've made chais, I've made lattes, I've made cappuccinos with it. So yeah, we've done a lot of tests for this. Got here. With the temperature sensor above that, got a reading of 40 degrees Celsius. So interesting. And then now all I have to do is just read my book. Okay. <laughs> that was really loud. Oh my god. Okay, so my waffle, it's been two minutes. It's nice. It's got a little bit of a bend. Mm. It's nice to caramelize. Took a little bit longer. I'm gonna say it was around two minutes and 30 seconds, but it will be on screen in comparatively to the other one, which is just boiling water. I like mine a little bit more flimsy and the caramel to be a little bit more gooed in. Now with this, you do get a softer bottom side, but the top side is still a little bit crispy if you can get that perfect seal on it. So I think it's a catch 22, depends what you prefer. In my opinion, if you like more of a gooey consistency, I would say leave it on for a little bit longer. For a latte, maybe like two minutes and 30 seconds it was. Dip this in. Very good. Maybe for my next project, I won't have a loud buzzer alongside it because when you plug it back in, for some reason, the Arduino just triggers the audio again. Okay, that is, okay, that is very loud. <laughs> I did not count for how loud. Why is it just triggering off by randomly? Fucking hell. The system can also work in the back of a car. All you have to do is just flick the top lid of your drink and put your stroop off on top and carefully balance the hot drink on top of your lap. And then the webcam can pick it up 
And all you have to do is put the temperature sensor and then now all we do is just wait and then the system will let me know. Make sure everything's balanced because I really don't want this hot drink to be spilling on me and sometimes my legs are wobbling. Ah, it's ready. Perfect. And you get a little song and jig with it. It's like I've celebrated something. It's like I won an award. So in total, if you have a waffle, it will take around 99 seconds for a boiling cup without a milk base, or that's 1 minute and 39 seconds. For a drink with milk in it, I'd say an additional 14 seconds, so the total is 1 minute and 53 seconds. And for a drink with foam in it, I guess add 25 seconds? I don't know. Now don't ask me about combining this with a bubble tea or yerba mate because I'll have no clue. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I actually had the yerba mate with this and it took around 1 minute and 43 seconds. But I'll be honest, I'll hold my hands up. The yerba mate and stroop waffle combination does not mix well. I suggest having it with a coffee to be honest because it doesn't even go that well with the tea. If you enjoyed the video, you can give it a little cheeky like and subscribe because this took actually a fair bit more effort than I originally thought. And you can watch one of the random videos that YouTube suggests around my head now. Also, let me know what you would pair with the Stroopoffel, because I've had too many of these and I'm sick of them.